Hi all, it's Mary from Mary Leaf Makes. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to thread your needle, how to start an actual stitch, and how to tie off your stitch when you are done with your thread. I'll be showing you how to do this with just a plain piece of Kona fabric. Check out my embroidery supplies video if you have any questions about this. And um, at first I'm just gonna use all six strands of DMC and a pretty large size needle. I'm not sure exactly what size. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so threading a needle can be the biggest pain in embroidery and sewing of any kind. Um, they do make um, like thread needle threaders. Um, I don't ever use those, but if you think that's something that might help you or you struggle with this, then I would check those out at your craft store. They're like probably not even a dollar um, and they just help you pull the thread through the eye so I'm just gonna be showing you what I do and um, so I just get the thread and usually I'll either wet it a little bit by licking my finger and pulling it like this trying to flatten it out as much as possible or if licking grosses you out then you can use um, just a little bit of water just get a little cup with some water in it. And then you're just gonna take your needle, which you have the eye of your needle here, and you're just gonna try to go for it. And honestly, it's almost a trial and error. Just keep wetting it or pulling it down to flatten it as much as possible. And then if it really gets to be a pain, you can cut and start over again because sometimes you just need a fresh cut. Um, to make it go through. And so see, got it to go through. Now I embroider this way with having my tail hanging down instead of, you may see people who mend clothes, they loop it up and they tie it here at the end. But I prefer to have my little tail here at the end. And then at my other end, I'm just gonna tie a knot um, as close as possible to the end and if you can't get it exactly at the end then I would just go ahead and cut it a little bit. You can see I've got a little end here. And that is how I thread my needle and obviously with six strands it's a lot more difficult than with just three or two which is what I normally use. So don't stress about it too much if you can't get the six strands. Um, I promise you probably will be able to get the two or three strands. It really just takes you a little moment and as you get better at it, the faster it'll go. So you have your needle threaded and next I'm gonna show you what to do after you've done a few stitches. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do just a few little, little line of back stitch. I just, there are different ways to start, but I just pull my knot through my fabric which is why sometimes if it's um, thinner than six strands, like if it's two or three, you might wanna tie two knots. But there are different ways to do this, but this has always been the fastest and has never caused me too many problems. So this is usually what I do. If you wanna check out other types of starting, um, look at Anchor, um, I think is what it's called. You use an anchor and you actually start from this side. So check that out if you're having any problems with starting it this way. So I'm just gonna do a few quick little back stitches. Remember you can check out the video on back stitches if you need um, a remembering on what exactly is back stitch. I'm just gonna do a few quick little guys in here to get us started. And remember I'm just doing one strand. The tail is here on the end. I'm just pulling through. Okay, so now when it comes to the end of embroidery, there are different ways you can do things. Again, just like um, all the other <laughs> ways to start. Almost everything in embroidery, there's one way or another to do it, but this is my favorite way. So I turn it over and I take my needle and usually I can find some sort of stitch before it or something to tuck my needle under. And I pull it through and make a loop. And now I'm gonna take my needle and I'm going to stick it through the loop and pull it tight. And then I'm gonna do the same thing one more time and pull it tight and that creates a knot so you don't have to try to 
create a knot it's usually pretty tight too so you don't have to worry about it being loose on your other side um, and then this usually works a little bit better if you have more than just a few stitches I usually just go a few times weaving my needle kind of in through the yarn or the thread on the back so that it doesn't come undone as easily and then I just take my sharp snips and I just cut and that is how I end my hoop so that's where we started and that is where we finished um, and I just like it this way because it's quick and it keeps everything nice and tight which is really important especially when you're doing things like satin stitch. Alright guys, I hope that this video was quick and easy and helpful and that maybe you feel a little bit more confident about threading the needle and getting started and finishing. Um, there are obviously different ways to do this so if you're not comfortable or you don't like the way that um, I do it. You can look up some other videos of how to get started, but just let me know if you have any questions and um, just keep watching these videos before you get started on your pattern. Thanks so much and I hope it helped.